Be so impressed by watching this year's team yes. rickshaw pedal through what was an incredibly challenging week and they really highlighted the true power of teamwork and determination. And it certainly inspired you at home too. So many of you joined in. Oh, look at this, honestly. <laughs> Here's little Albie at his nursery in Bristol Aww. who set up their own rickshaw challenge. Look Go on, Albie. That is the cutest thing I've seen. Oh, and then we've got Max Cobner as well from Brimpton, who started cycling at home too, and he's raised over a thousand pounds. Great work, Max. Thank you so wow. much. What an effort, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. I mean, well done, Max, and well done to everyone for getting involved. And in a moment, we're going to be talking to Matt and Team Rickshaw. But first, here's how the challenge unfolded and how they all didn't just go the extra mile, they went the extra 500 miles. The incredible young people taking on Rickshaw 2020 were Lewis, Rosie, Sarah, Owen, Jim and Lauren. Because of the global pandemic, our route this year was based around the famous Goodwood Estate. Jim, who suffers from a rare autoimmune disease, was first in the saddle. Well, that was the first corner taken at Goodwood, like a pro. Yeah. It felt amazing to start the challenge and to be part of the team but I did struggle with my back. You just started burning a bit then. We can just stop if you feel like you want to stop. No, I'm, I can make it round. I made it round with the motivation of the team. Take your applause, my man. Get in, son. But the pain got worse, forcing Jim to pull out of the challenge. And just when we were coming to terms with being a rider down, there was more bad news. A member of the film crew tested positive for COVID-19 and the whole event was put on hold. But that doesn't mean the challenge is off. We're just virtually going to rack up the miles. Come on, we can do this. I just hit 10k. Is it 10? Seven miles. Yeah. All week, we were up early and pedalling as a team. I'm a bit out of breath, oh my goodness. Throughout the week, it wasn't the easiest for me. It took its toll on my uh, legs. But then, as I got more into it, it became easier. My leg is a bit pain, but I'm good. Tired legs isn't enough to stop me from fighting on. It was going to be the 332 miles. Oh, we smashed that, Michael, already. Well, Land's End to John O'Groats is 603 miles. That's the plan now, so we're going to crack on. Come on, Team Rickshaw, let's do this! <laughs> And the support was incredible. Some of it from familiar faces. You are so inspiring. Oh. Lauren, I was so impressed when I was told that you're a singer as well. The message from Abba was very special. I can't believe it happened. I'm still in shock. Yo, what's up, Owen? <laughs> Just thought I'd say how proud of you I am. Yes, I was one of those people who made me feel a lot better because when I was going through tough times, I would watch the videos and it would make me smile. Peace. The total this year is 4,750,819. Feel good to be raising money for children in need so other children can benefit the way I can benefit. I hope it's just been a week to remember and it's one that I'll never forget. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. I am more resilient than I thought I was. And it was just amazing to see my physical strength go up like it did. It was the best week of my life and I'll never forget it. To be part of the team, it was absolutely amazing and an unbelievable experience. As you know, an absolute roller coaster for them, but they did a fantastic job pedalling an amazing 830 miles, more than double what they originally planned. That's the equivalent of going from London to Stockholm. Yeah, a long, long way. Uh, Matt and the riders join us for the final time now. Uh, Matt, they all did such an incredible job. You've got to be so pleased with the amount you've all raised. But you've got a new total for us, I hear. Well, yes, we have. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, right? Off the back of that little film that you just played there, the thing that I am just so delighted about is the fact that all the riders had such a great week. You know, I was yeah. heartbroken when mm. I thought, that's it, everyone's got to go home. And, you know, how are we going to be able to give them this opportunity and this experience of a lifetime? Well, thankfully, because of the way that it played out, because 
all of you amazing people, and I say amazing because I am going to give you another total now, and because you all got behind the cause, and because you've seen it in previous years, you knew what this was about and how life-changing it can be. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart because the total now stands at an incredible five million. Oh, wow. Two Oh my goodness. Honestly, I am just floored by your generosity wow. in this this year. I mean, it's so, so difficult for everybody. And I just I just want to thank you all personally, but I can't. I'm just doing it here now. <laughs> oh Matt, I want to give you a hug. That is it is fantastic. And also brilliantly you led them again this year and a lot of that total is down to you and your hard work i know you you don't want to talk about that but of course it is well listen um uh, it's a big part of my life it has been for 10 years i'm incredibly proud of it and i'm just i am amazed that we managed to get get it going for the 10th year yeah. um i do actually want to thank goodwood massively because they were just incredible and they said to us look you've got the whole use of the estate do what you want you know we had a lockdown thing set up mm. sadly one thing led to another and paul collin was amazing his safety that he put in place protected everybody so thank you on behalf of all of our families that you've managed to keep safe oh, too brilliant. brilliant well well we spoke to some of you um last week so um now then we haven't spoken to you lewis so hello um brilliant well, brilliant effort fantastic and for you you were trying out a new prosthetic leg as well so how did that go and hopefully it didn't put you off cycling um well it was a bit of a weird one it was a learning curve for myself as well as everyone that was around me um but yeah it kind of just fell into place quite naturally and as the week progressed it just became a lot easier and more natural for me to just carry on cycling yeah well it, it certainly didn't hold you back at all did it no nothing <laughs> nothing does really <laughs> good good uh, uh, and sarah you celebrated your birthday on saturday didn't you and um of course your dog waffle was keeping a close eye on you wasn't she yeah well for being by my side Helping me, my teammates, and stay confident in you, situation. Oh, well, I tell you what, Sarah, you inspired so many people throughout the week and we had tons of messages for you. Now, we wanted to play you this one last week, but we didn't have time, unfortunately, but we thought you might like to see it. So just have a look at this. Hi, oh, Sarah. I wanted to say I am so proud of you. Keep going. You can do it. King Richard, yay! Oh, I mean, we had so many messages like that from people like Ryan. It must mean a lot to see that, Sarah. Yeah, it's really lovely to see major support from my friends and people. It's really nice. Yeah, absolutely. And Owen, well, a very, very special day for you. Mm. What a start to your 15th year. Happy birthday, Owen. Happy birthday. <laughs> what a way to celebrate it, live on BBC One. <laughs> Have you had a great day so far? Yeah, that's been great. Yeah, and what will you take away then from this week? I mean, this crazy week that has been the week of the Rickshaw Challenge. I'll take away definitely the memories of being with the team and cycling together and raising such an amazing amount. Yeah, how does that feel, Arid, raising so much money? I mean, it's, it's absolutely incredible what you've all achieved. It's amazing, you know, just to give back. And there is such an amazing amount to help children. Children that need it, you know, it's great that I'm able to do that and help a lot of people around the world. Mm. Well done, well done. And as you said, Matt, you know, at the beginning of last week, I worried like you that this mm. particular gang, the 10th year, wouldn't have the same experience. But actually, everybody seems to have come out of it and have taken away as much as every other year, the, every other year that we've done. But for people yes. who have donated yeah. and people, as you said, have been incredibly kind, that money will make a huge difference, won't it, to the charities that children in need support? 
Well, Team Rickshaw are a perfect example of what that money can do and how, you know, just brilliant individuals and they've turned out the way that they have and they're just so inspirational because of all of that support that they've had through the years. And, you know, I, I, I've said it and I keep saying it, it's so difficult to be asking in this difficult year for support. But And I don't want people to think that we're not grateful when we ask for it one more time. But basically, if you haven't got round to donating this year, then you, there is still time. And I had, I'm saying all of this with my children in need hat on as well. So if you can donate five, 10, 20 or 30 pounds, all you have to do is text the word five, 10, 20 or 30 to seven or seven or one um but please don't think that we're not grateful for every single penny that we've received this year because you have blown us all away thank you once again and text will cost your donation plus your standard network message charge and 100 percent of your donation will go to bbc children in need you must be 16 or over and please do ask for the bill payers permission and for the full terms and conditions and more information or to donate any more you would like to go online go to bbc.co.uk forward slash pudsing yes well i've enjoyed our catch-ups all week thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts matt thank you so much for all you've done and to the rest of team rickshaw 2020 a huge achievement thank you.